Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. I'm Jerry Byrne, Irish Radio it is. Now, uh, since uh, lockdown, I've been speaking to uh, many of the great, the good, and the incredibly talented. A boy, what an incredible collection of talented people is involved in uh, Irish music. I've got a gentleman now who's been involved in uh, music for a very, very long time. Singer, songwriter, and uh, performer. Uh, and uh, a gentleman who has uh, uh, had uh, many, many successful songs. And uh, uh, at this stage, thousands upon thousands of live appearances. From County Donegal, I'm delighted to say hello to the one and only Seamus McGee. Seamus, how are you? Ah, good Lord. How, how are you doing, Jerry? Not bad. Great, great to talk to you, by the way. Same as that. Same as that, Seamus. Listen, you've had a, you've had a, a very, very uh, you know, long career in music. I'm in it a long time. Uh, I would actually hate to say how long, Jerry. It's been a lifetime, you know. And, you know, it, I've, I've been so lucky. I had a huge hit with Come Home, Danny Boy. And, you know, I remember the time we used to go to London to the Galtimore and the Gresham and all them places. And Jerry Bur- Jerry Byrne was always a name on everybody's lips. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, uh, indeed. Those those were the, 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 the those were the those were the days back then. I remember. Yes, you were. You used to come over and play in the Galty and uh, the Galty board. All the uh, the you know the the, the well known show uh, uh, dance halls, I should say, across uh, London and yeah. across the UK. Oh, that's right. Uh, every, everywhere, Jerry, and you know, you you always felt so so proud. You know, when you drove down uh, heading for Kilburn and you stopped outside the Galty Moor and. You seen uh, Seamus McGee up on the big, uh, big sign. You know yourself, Jerry. The yeah. big sign in front of the Galtimore there, and uh, Joe Dolan underneath it. Yes. You know you you were in good uh, big company that time when you when you seen that. Indeed, indeed. How 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 true it is and uh, incredible days and uh, an iconic side I will have to say uh, the uh, the Galtimore side was it's been reproduced I see online umpteen times as well oh absolutely Jay. absolutely what a what a venue you know it was an awful shame and an awful uh, sadness that it had to go the way it did you know indeed indeed so changed uh, changed times unfortunately and uh uh, there were there were so many people who who quite literally cried when the uh, when the Galtimo, uh, uh went. It was a uh, truly incredible. It pulled at the heartstrings of so many people. Absolutely, yes. I it was. Uh, you know, it, it, if you weren't playing the Galti, you weren't in the business. You know. Yes. That that's the way it was. You, you had to be in the Galti more, and you had to be in the Gresham and the top hat kneeling and. Uh, after so many places, indeed, yes, there was a Hibernian in Fulham as well, and that's absolutely yes, yeah. So, so just, uh, yeah. just so many. She was tell me this: How did the song "Come Home, Danny Boy" come about? You co-wrote it with a, a cousin of yours. Yes, well, I'll t- I'll tell you how it came about, Jerry. We were actually, since we we're talking about the Galtimore, we were after uh, finishing finishing a weekend or a tour, actually in the Galtimore on a, on one particular night and we, we were heading for the boat got onto the boat and we were heading home and when when we were just about two or three miles from home coming I don't know if you know this area Jerry but coming down Don Louis I was driving and Danny was sitting no Danny was driving actually and I was sitting in the passenger seat and uh Danny, the first thing Danny says to me, we were nearly home at that stage, I have a great idea for a song. Right. Right, this is, what's the idea? He says, no, I won't tell you until tomorrow. But I have a great idea. I, 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 it came to me, he says, when I was walking down Kilburn there at the weekend. And uh, that's, uh, it was actually originally, believe it or not, Jerry, called Come home, Paddy Joe. Okay. So we changed it to Danny Boy. We thought it sounded a bit better, <laughs> right? Than Paddy Joe, but uh, that's and uh, Danny landed down here in the house the following day with a scribble, a scribble on a piece of paper that uh, we 
we kind of tried to put together, and we eventually did. I wrote the music to it, and Danny more or less wrote the words to it, you know? Right. And be- and between us, we came up with Come Home, Danny Boy. Right, incredible. Uh, you know that the song went on to be absolutely a phenomenal success for you. That was back in the nineteen eighties. That's right. That's right. It's it's unbelievable, Jerry. I'm so proud of it. You know, and I suppose uh, you could count on on both hands how many people in in Ireland that can actually say that that they had a huge hit with their own song. Indeed. You know, they, they would they would have had hits with. Other people's songs and everything, but you know, I feel very proud that I that I've had my own, my own very very special song. Indeed, and and it's been with me ever since. You know, uh, indeed, Adam. I mean, it it uh, it was a song which you which really launched you. I mean, you know, you were you were you were going away in the in the music, but this song, I mean, just launched you out to a complete and utter uh, different level. Uh, it, I, absolutely, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you where it started. It started the actually in the Galtimore. Moore. And I don't know, uh, God rest him, if you know a, a manager called Jimmy Smith. Oh, yes, indeed I do, yes. You. Yeah, indeed you do, right? Well, Jimmy Smith, was, he was running, actually running a radio station at that time in London. Yes. Right? And when when he heard Come Home to Any Boy, look, Shimmers, he says, I'll make that a huge hit in London, in England. That's what he said to me. And he, he was on to my manager the following following week. And the when he launched it on the station at that time, Jerry, I was actually, I think it was a month later, I was playing the Galtimore again. And it's, it's unbelievable. The, I still have the photograph of it ever since. The queue that were outside the Galtie to go in that night was unbelievable. Yes. It, uh, you know, it just it, it just shows you it was it was one of those songs uh, that that really was such a, a huge and incredible uh, uh, incredible success, and uh, it, it, it you know it was just it was just absolutely amazing uh, from there. Uh, but you, you also had a, another a song you released back uh, a couple of years ago uh, did extremely well also for you. Stone Walls once again a song of immigration. Yeah, that's right. Stone Walls. It was it was actually uh, the, it was actually filmed. On an, in an old building about two miles from me here, Jerry, just up the road a bit here. Okay. That's where it was filmed. And again, it was written by Danny. Danny, Danny wrote nearly everything for me. He wrote the Donegal Immigrant. Right. You know, there were so, so many songs, but uh, none of them quite as big as Come Home, Danny Boy, you know. Well, indeed, yes. It was a. I think it was a song of its time. Uh, not alone that, uh, the, the thing about "Come Home, Danny Boy" was the 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 fact that uh, there was at that time there was huge uh, immigration uh, from Ireland as well. Absolutely, and what was, and if I may say, Jerry, what was very nice about it at that time, I used to get phone calls from people in the north of Ireland and all the way down to the south of Ireland here, and indeed from England as well. You know, the people who were living in England and all that would be out of them was that my song took their father or took their son or their cousin or wherever home. You know? Right. They ended, they ended up home because of Come Home, Danny Boy. Amazing. Absolutely so amazing. Th- th- there was, I, I could, you could keep talking about it for a year and you wouldn't run out of something to say about it, you know? Indeed. Indeed. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Hey, listen, you, you've, you've, you've spent many, many years performing live as well. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I have, uh, I suppose, the guts of, guts of 40 years, Jerry, if not, if not a wee bit more, you know, and, and I, I spent, I think it was 28 years doing a residency in the Austin here in Guidor. You know, the boils here in Guidor. I used to do every Wednesday night for 27 years. Wow. Every night was huge. It was my, you know, my stomping ground, as you would say. Right. That is astounding. That is, uh, uh, that, that is, uh, that, that's got to be one of the longest residencies ever. I, I, that was a long time, 27 years. 
without, without, without missing one year or without even missing, thank God, not even missing a Wednesday night. You know, and at nine o'clock, Jerry, you wouldn't get you wouldn't get into that place, nor would you get in anywhere near it with traffic. You know, right? Absolutely astounding. That unbelievable. Right? That is that is. Uh, but un- un- unfortunately, that's all gone now, Jerry. Indeed, indeed. Uh, with the way things, uh, with the way things are uh, at the moment, everything, uh, everything is gone. There's, uh, there's uh, not a single uh, live performance by anybody, and that includes uh, uh, people involved, like in the stage and theatre, musicals, all the rest of it. Everything is absolutely uh, 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 yes. All music, all arts, uh, all arts, music, and entertainment has got a serious, a serious hit. Indeed, it has. With this pandemic, you know. Indeed, indeed, truly, uh, it is. Uh, it is truly astounding, and uh, something that uh, none of us could uh, ever see coming. Uh, not in a million years. Not in a million years. Who would have thought a year and a half ago that we would be sitting here talking about something like this, Jerry? You know, it's just a, uh, you know, you, it's just like a movie. You know. Yes. Yes, indeed, 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 it is. It's uh, what of what of it's one of those. Also, tell me this, uh, Seamus, what have you been doing since uh, the the uh, onset of COVID and all the rest of them, the lockdowns and everything else? Well, I have been, I have a recording studio here, and uh, I, to be quite honest, with you, Jerry, at the minute there's nobody getting in here at all. <laughs> That's the way things are. But I've yeah. been doing a fair bit of recording and. Or a bit of video and, and all that. Apart from that, absolutely nothing, Jerry. You know, I might as well be honest. Indeed. These, no. Well, you know, at least at least you you know you've got the recording studio to be able to uh, you know to do some uh, do some work and do some uh, creative activity at least. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. And then you were you were, can you uh, other people that the people that record here with me, you know, they were able to experiment and. Maybe write some songs, write some music, and you know, you never know. We might end up with a hit out of it yet. <laughs> yes, fair play. You well done, well done on it. She was so excellent stuff, indeed. And uh, it's uh, it definitely is. It's uh, surreal times, and as you say, you, you know, you you can't uh, you 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 can't join anybody uh, in the studio to do anything with them. Uh, obviously, you know, if they come in, you're not there, and uh, then when they leave, you go in and uh, do your thing. Exactly, correct. That's just the way it is, Jerry. You know, indeed. You know, you couldn't, you couldn't possibly uh, t- take anybody into the studio at the minute, the way things are, because it's a, it's more or less a com- a complete lockdown. You know, indeed, indeed. So, indeed, so. Uh, I bet you miss the, you know, the doing the live performances and meeting the people. How do you do? Of course, they should. They were the backbone of it. I used to love going to Scotland as well, Jerry. That used to be a big place of mine, especially around the north of Scotland and around Aberdeen and Thurso and Glasgow and that are so many places that we used to tour it. It was England one week and Scotland the next week and, yes. and Ireland the next week. That's the way it was, Jerry, you know. Right, right. Absolutely, absolutely magic stuff. Seamus, listen, it's been lovely to catch up with you. Uh, and uh, listen, stay safe and stay well. Well done on everything that you've uh, you've done and achieved uh, all over the years. And listen, when uh, when it's safe to do so, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you performing somewhere along the uh, along the winding path. Thanks a million, Seamus. I uh, would. I love to see you walk. See you walking in somewhere that I would be playing, Jerry. And before I go, can I just say hello to you? Know her very well. She always talks about you. About you. Uh, that's Mary Rose, my own cousin. She's over there, and you know I love talking to her nearly every week. There isn't a week that we don't talk talk about music and talk about the way things are. And so I just like to say hello to Tom and Mary Rose and everybody, Grace and all the all the all the people over there in London at the minute that are also going through hell like us all. You know, indeed, indeed, Mary Rose, great, uh, great artist, very, very popular over here. I'll have to say. Absolutely, absolutely. Seamus, listen, absolutely. stay stay safe, stay well, and uh, uh, listen, we'll, uh, we shall meet up as soon as it's safe to do so. Okay, Jerry, and you stay safe, and it's been an honour and a pleasure to talk to you, you know that.